Ja. <laughs> Good morning. How evening. Hello. <laughs> How are you doing? I hope you're all doing very, very well. Um, so I am just in the middle of uh, of uh, uh, if we do some of that. Look at that. Look, boom. That's happening. Um, so yes. Good evening. <laughs> um, guess who just woke up a couple of minutes ago and just woke up in a massive panic going, fuck, it's gone nine o'clock. <laughs> so <laughs> it's, uh, it's, yeah, it's, uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's not quite what uh, it's not quite what, quite what I expected. But hello, everybody! Thank you very much for joining me. I'm Dean the Vaping Biker, and tonight is another Monday Night Life, although bit a, uh, a a diet version because it's not going to be as long as usual. And uh, and also, it's uh, I'm going to be talking. Mo well, I think mostly. Well, don't know. I don't know. We'll see. But about the DNA 250C, which I'm very very excited about, and I'll show you some more about that in a little while. Hopefully you can all hear me and it's all okay. Um, those of you with a particularly keen eye may see that we're in a slightly different studio. So the background here, this is all way further behind me than it uh, than it used to be. And there's been a monster change around um, on, uh, on set, so to speak, also... <laughs> in the little room but uh, let's just uh, go as usual if you're new to the uh, Monday Night Live essentially the first five ten minutes I am going to say hello to people in chat and then once we've got through that uh, maybe only five minutes tonight and, uh, and I apologise if I do miss you, but uh, we'll go through that, and then uh, we'll go into the kind of the meat and veg of the uh, of the of the Monday Night Live, where I probably won't pay too much of attention to what's going on in chat, and then after that, what we'll do is we'll go into like questions and answers and all that sort of good jazz. So hopefully that's okay with you. If you're watching this on a follow up or like after the event, then uh, just fast forward at ten minutes. Now then, uh, DJ LSB is in his house. Hello, DJ LSB Daniel. Yes, yes, people can see your comment. I can see your comment. I can see your comment. Asking if people can see your comment. Um, right, I'm going to scroll up and just have a little look. I'm not going all the way to the front, but let's have a little look. Kevin K, hello. Always there's no where you're from as well. That's nice to know. That's always nice to know. Um, uh, uh, Emperor of Problem World from Bangladesh, John Mueller. Hello, John Mick Blizzard. Hello, Mick. How are you doing? Um, Enrique a Pagan, uh, Mike Sem, um, uh, Morris Van Brinkelen, Holland. Hello, Morris. Thank you very much for joining me. Uh, De Holt. Hello, uh, Chris Salter. Hello, G. Oof, G. I don't know how to say your name, but Yasu Tikanis Kala, um, all the way over to Mr. Tarafas from over in Greece. In fact, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to I'm going to scroll through because loads of people are saying hello, so I'm just going to try and keep up with the chat from here. Apologies if if you've commented prior to this moment. Um, hey Dean, hopes all well from Cambridge. Hello Daniel Carter Sewell, Lear Swales, Ben Mackamson from Nottingham. Uh, it's me, dude. Um, Tor. To, 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 Taurus, is that a place? Um, John Okumara. Um, uh, da -da 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 -da. Chat was glitching on my side, says Daniel. Uh, Alistair from Northern Ireland. Uh, just woke up here in Berlin. Hello, De Holt. Um, to, 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 oh, Taurus M. Hello. Hello to you. Nice to see you. Thank you very much. Um, uh, uh, Erkin all talk. Um, oh no, it's it's going really quick. There's a load of you. Honestly, this is this is kind of mind blowing. Consider I've lit. Oh, <laughs> I've literally just woken up and my brain is having a hard time computing things. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, JTH reviews. Hello from uh, Kentucky, USA. Uh, Hello, Mr. Biker from Wisconsin. Quite a sweet tea, lovely. Um, uh, same as J says James, J J Jason Jones, even. Fuck. <laughs> Eddie Summerford, Jordan Okumara, um, uh, uh, Erkin Oltok. I think I said hello to you already. Michael Harden from Davenport, IA. Where's IA? Don't know where. Indiana? Is that Indiana? Could be Indiana, I guess. Um, Legion Vapes, uh, Mike's Custom Tech, Andy Franklin, Andy Stewart. Oh, I just went again. Oh, Christ. Um, <laughs> I 
keep up with this at all. Uh, um, <laughs> um, uh, have more coffee. I, I, I'm on it. My my good lady just made me a cup of uh, a cup of tea, so I'm I'm on it like a carb on it. Anyone else here from Hawaii? Jordan is from Hawaii. Hawaii. Um, uh, what else we got going on? Neil M. Dylan. Oh, I, <laughs> it's bad. I'm shit with names anyway, but literally when I've just woken up, it's not good. Um, Simon Watson. Heidi High from South London. Um, Henry Stewart. How you doing? From Edinburgh. Afternoon from Washington, USA. To Andy Franklin. Thank you very much indeed. Um, uh, Michael Harden. Uh, from Davenport. I, oh, I said hello to you already. Um, let's have another random squall. Um, hello from Yorkshireman in Sweden, says Steve Bellamy. How you doing? Eddie is from Eastbourne. Hello, Eddie. Nice to see you. Stephen Jones from Portsmouth. Stan Johnson. You did one after all then. Yeah, absolutely. Well, I think based on what I showed my patrons earlier on, I wasn't going to do one today. Basically, I'll, I'll go into why a little bit later. But uh, but yeah, yeah. Um, uh, what else have we got going on here? Matthew Jones from Aldershaw. Rob Fisher from Durban, South Africa. Um, Lou De, De Fiore. Uh, what's up? What's up with you? <laughs> Indeed. Um, uh, what else have we got going on? Uh, da, 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 Tom Hasler. Uh, Corgut's in the house, I think, as well, somewhere. Triple uh, um, X Vapes is in the house. Legion Vapes. Loads of people. Loads of people. There's there's a lot of you. There's loads of you. Um, <laughs> I can't keep up. <laughs> I really can't keep up. Um, Kevin Mann, hello from Oxfordshire. Hello from South Carolina. Dennis and Michael, clean as fuck calls. What's up, Dean, from Washington State? Washington State and Washington. What people call on, what's the difference? Is Washington State the state of Washington? And so it's a it's a town in, in Washington? Is that is that the difference? Like Norfolk is my is my county? Is that the same sort of thing? I don't know. Um, Guybrush Streetwood, uh, hello from Germany. How you doing? Nice to see you. Um, howdy there, Viker. All right, Thurlos or Burlos. <laughs> Lance Porrett, New Orleans. Uh, DNNS84, here we There's a load of you. There's a load of you in the house. But thank you so much for joining me. I hope uh, I hope this stream is looking well and is all looking as it's, as good as it should do. Are you looking big and close tonight? Yeah, I was going to put a different lens on it. Normally, I'm kind of there, I think. And uh, and now I'm there. So it's a little bit, it's a little bit snugger, isn't it? <laughs> Basically, right, let's, let's get into this, shall we? I will, uh, I will have another little look at chat. As always, if you do have, um, if you do have any sort of burning questions that can't wait until I've uh, I've done my uh, sort of the, this this chunk of the vlog, which bearing in mind how much I'm stumbling over my words could take a little while. Um, but uh, yeah, if you've got something burning, start it with at vaping biker, and then uh, and bang your, your your question in uppercase after that, and then I've got more of a chance of seeing it. All right, cool. And uh, normal chat rules. Don't advertise yourself without asking first, and uh, and um, don't be a twat. Cool, it's easy, easy as that. Ready? <clears throat> Lovely old job. Now then, background matches your beard, Dino. There's more colour in the background than there is in the beard. Look at this. I was saying this to me when I was on it with my patrons earlier on. What's going on here? What's happening with all of this grey? Where? What? And why isn't it coming down in the middle in a streak? How am I supposed to be a silver fox when that's happening, eh? Hey, anyway then. So let's uh, let's let's get into it, shall we? So I've got some new stuff to show you. As the title suggests, we've got a little bit of DNA two hundred and fifty loveliness to talk about, and uh, and I've got uh, I've got something to show you with that one. Quick glimpse DNA two hundred and fifty C reference mod that uh, that I'm going to show you, and I am incredibly incredibly excited to show you that. That is, it's 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 going to be sweet. It's going to be sweet. Um, now then, and I think possibly, quite possibly, an absolute game changer. And it's not often, not often, not often, not often. I would say something like that in uh, when it comes to anything vape related, because most most vape related stuff is dull as piss. 
Now right then, um, uh, when's the replay update for deer? I don't know. Don't know, Ben. But I'll talk about that when we do the deer. You know, I said at the start, if you can't wait, wait. <laughs> <laughs> anyway i've got a few things to show you so let's we've got we've got an up close camera going on tonight if we want it and uh and so we can do stuff maybe, maybe uh, do i need my keyboard no let's get my keyboard out of the way right then ladies and germs let's uh let's some of that action action dean are you going what are you, what are you doing tis tis good evening i know i know Kaz. i'm a naughty man right so first off first off the bat let me just take this rda off here um a very kind one of my patrons stan uh not stan oh mr mr earl spencer sent me a present and uh, I don't think I showed you this. I didn't show you this on my uh, on my last vlog. This is the uh, the Squid Industries Double Barrel V two point one, I believe. I believe it's the two point one. And uh, and I've taken pictures of it and shown it on sort of my social media and what have you. But look at it. Just look at it. That's that's just sexy as you like. Now I didn't really know what to expect um, when uh, when I was told that, that one of these was coming my way because I thought it's a, an interesting it's an interesting uh, looking mod. But uh, but uh, I know that Grim loves his and what have you, and I thought it would be kind of cool. But uh, I didn't really think how much I was going to fall massively in love with this. To be honest with you, it's quite tall. It's quite tall when you when you, when you hold it in your hand like so. You can see that there's a fair amount of uh, of space on there, but um, but it's it's ridiculously comfortable. It's like holding two. Uh, I mean, if I've got the claymore, I showed you the claymore here um, uh, uh, last week. It's kind of like holding two um, mech mods at the same time, if that makes sense. Um, and it's it's ridiculously comfortable. You've got your fire button on the side here. This is also your your spinny roundy adjustment button. So you spin this around to do what you need it to do. And then you've got this this fire jobby going on up the top here. So you press that. You've got a screen going on right there. And um, I should probably be be proper and show my change there. Hang on, hang on. Stick with me. Where? Oh, there it is. I was just looking for something that had already poked up. Um, okay, so that is the uh, the screen you've got to worry about there, and have I locked it? I can't remember. Yeah, there we go. So twisting the uh, twisting the little jobby there means that the, the uh, things move up and down, which is obvious. But is it four clicks? One, two, three, four. Locked, and now I can't turn that up and down, but I can. I can fire it and it's just crazy easy crazy simple and I'm really 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 enjoying it because of that and I think it's absolutely superb I really do I like the simplicity of it I really like the feel of it it's surprisingly heavy it is surprisingly heavy for what it is I thought it was going to be way lighter but uh, no it's a good solid piece of kit um, now then let's uh, just squirt some more juice in there uh, uh, Mary Beth Leighton, Dean has a fantastic, Dean, at Dean has a fantastic, it's not at Vaping Biker, Mary Beth, at Vaping Biker helps, <laughs> um, has a fantastic form factor, it's like the hexone with curves, if you know what I mean, I would disagree with that, I would, I would say it's nothing like the hexone with curves, but I think I can kind of see where you're going on that one, Mary Beth, I do think it's just crazy, crazy comfortable. absolute joy it really is and uh, and i have overdripped like a bastard um but no i uh, i've just i've been I've, I've used it every day i think i got it last tuesday i think maybe something like that um patrons did i did i show you last tuesday i think i might have done um and uh, yeah and i've been loving it i've used it absolutely every single day ever since i got it and uh, and i've just enjoying the fuck out of it the like i say the simplicity aspect of it is great and one of the things that i like about it as well is that um that i believe the uh, the, the the owner of squid industries does a massive amount for charity which is great and uh, and part of his profits and things all go towards charitable charitable endeavors and stuff as well so um he has my absolute maximum respect on that ex veteran i believe he is um but uh, not an ex veteran a veteran
So, yes, all in all, I think this is absolutely superb. Right then, what else have we got? Hang on, I'm going to take a sip of tea and have a look at chat. <clears throat> you need to change your name to the Vaping Mobility Triker. No, I don't. Right, what else have we got going on here? No, no. Let me just prep these, get these all in one place for you. Or I'll put these two in one place and we will i'm getting that i'm getting the camera set up i'm getting the camera set up trust me it'll be worth it totally be worth it <laughs> oh dear i tell you just bright waking up it's a, it's a bit of a worry right here we go are you ready for number two <laughs> So there we go. This, ladies and gentlemen, is the Twisted Messes TM24 Pro Series. And uh, essentially, this has upgraded the TM24, um, and it's it's rather special. Now, this obviously is the blue and the gold colours. Uh, I've got the uh, the black one sitting on top of my uh, of my double barrel at the moment with lip gunk. Apologies for that. And I've got the uh, stainless one, a polished stainless one, no less, sitting on top of my... Uh, excuse me, reference mod, which we're talking about in a little bit later. But uh, but no, look at it. Look at it. Oh, that blue. I, I tell you, the drop had a, a blue one as well recently, and I think it's absolutely pigging gorgeous. I think it, this colour blue is lovely. It's really, really pretty. But um, yeah, there we go. Now then, breakdown. You probably want to see how this works, don't you? Um, so let's have a little look. 24 mil. I mean, that's not going to look great on top of the clay wall, but there you go. That's, that's, that's that on there. Um, what we've got on the top here, we unscrew that got a big old drip tip going on right there um, I can obviously push that drip tip out easier to push out than it is pull out um, so you've got a honking great big 810 drip tip hole there if you want it and then inside this is the inside of the barrel out you come so you've got that your, the, your airflow control much like you have with your your previous TM products the spinny thing now as an aside um, do you remember when the first Twisted Messes RDA came out? I'm going to have to find it up for the review because I've still got it. And I think I was one of the first people in the UK, if not the first, to get hold of it. Because I remember um, I remember going back to, uh, was it the first vape jam? I think it was the first vape jam I went to. And when it came to the TM um, RDA, it was, he'd, he'd not posted, Kent hadn't posted anything up about it other than he just put a pre-order up. And so people like me just went in and pre-ordered it blindly. And when it rocked up, it was fucking amazing. Um, but, uh, but no, there we go. Anyway, that was just an aside. So it's, it's just nice to, you know, <laughs> stay current. <laughs> right. So yes. So you take off these, so you can put different sleeves. I think you can use previous color TM24 sleeves if you've got other other uh, different colors and stuff of those as well. And then we pull off the barrel as we've had in the past one. This is quite lightweight, and um, yeah, there we go. So this isn't. I think this is anodized rather than rather than painted. Um, but that's why I'm using the black one on my uh, double barrel at the minute, so I can make sure I can see how that holds up on the insides. Now on the inside of that, you can see that we do have a big old Ultim blocker going on. Now this does have one thing that I wasn't sure about with some other mods uh, or some other RDAs. The Ultim blocker does. Have a, uh, does have a does have a have a bit of uh, stuff there. Um, have a, uh, a an O ring on it, and these always worry me in case they they're going to melt. So I'm not super happy about the fact that it's got an O ring, but nonetheless, that's a thing. Um, one of the other things I would love to have seen on this is this. It has kind of like a shelf. Can you see that? Um, it would have been lovely if that shelf had have been kind of angled. So when you drip in any juice that sits on top of that, would have automatically poured off it and. Uh, and gone down into your RDA. That would have been pretty. That would have been a, a nice, sweet little addition in my mind. Anyway, um, when we've got the actual deck itself and trying to find focus, there we go. We've got titanium. No, heat treated screws, heat treated titanium screws. Um, obviously, I will find out more before I do the review. A nice, deep juice well. And the exciting thing is that this little puppy comes in, in these boxes, which are very cool and funky. Now, when you unscrew this top, you do get um, this Allen key. Now, this Allen key apparently can get caught up with these. So it can kind of make the Allen key 
bend or something when these are tightened down occasionally so if you do get one then uh, it's a packaging issue rather than a, a product issue but uh, we've got the allen key going on there um, we've got in here if i look at the spares we've actually got right there although you can't see it overly well is we've got a squonk pin so we've got a tm24 with the squonk pin included a Arc ton of uh, of o-rings and of course if you don't want those particular screws we've got in there we do have some allen headed jobbies as well so uh no there we go that's all that lot and then you do get a funky little uh funky little screwdrivery jobby as well and then right underneath there which i can't get out uh, there we go we've got an ultim drip tip and we've got a uh, a black drip tip as well now i've got a feeling I, I will check this but i've got a feeling that this isn't this is a black ultim i'm not entirely sure i need to double check on that one but uh but uh, no there we go anyway that's it so um all the colors all the colors all the fun and uh, and yeah i've got to say i'm really rather enjoying it um it it vapes the same as previous tm24s and it, it does a grand job there we go i might put the ultimate drip tip on just for shits and giggles actually hold on um now then i have got other things to show you as well Oh, now, yes, this is something that I was told about. This is, so this isn't a great surprise. Now, because the uh, because the, when you pop the drip tip in, I mean, this honk and great big one. Let me, let me get some of this lip gunk off. I know you can see me in the corner, but you, nobody needs to see too much lip gunk. So it's quite disgusting. And I don't, oh, yeah, fuck. I don't want to. I don't want to make people throw up at this time of night. Um. Yeah, you know, other than seeing my face. Um, with this drip tip, it is quite a lot a long one, but you can see that the inside of that is recessed quite a lot. So when this goes in, this actually kind of um whilst it's quite a long drip tip, it doesn't look too bad once it's in there. Once you get the ultim drip tip like this, because it's much shorter, it's much sort of much more squat than uh than this one. You can see that then it does sit much deeper inside the uh, inside the, uh, the the RDA. See that? So it's a very kind of a short, funky little. Little jolly. Um, so there we go. Anyway, I want the black drip tip. Where's the black drip tip? Let's pop that in there. And wallop in we go. Right. Good. Now then. <coughs> I hope you're well. Um, Drip tip in on the piss. Hang on. Why is that not sitting in there straight? Sit in there, you bastard. Dunno. Go on. In you go. Dunno why that's not sitting in there straight. I'll look at that later. Anyway, right. Vaping poos. Now. Um, 810 adapter someone's saying um, that is a that is a, yes there is one in the uh, in the spares package there we go so it's not an 810 size drip tip that comes with it it's it's in this in the spares package um, which I probably should have used oh, it's it's one of the mornings no it's not evening what <laughs> oh no 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 those other drip tips do go but yes you do have a little 810 uh, adapter in in with the uh, in with the extras so there we go wallop good now then what else have we got Whew. storm vapor hey there buddy hey there storm vapor how you doing peter m managed to catch a live stream yes you did hello thank you very much for joining me I'm even worse than normal because I've only just woken up, so I apologise for that. Now then, what else have we got going on? I have been enjoying the Claymore, by the way. Um, I showed you that last week, and that's been rather, rather bloody splendid. Now then, what else have we got to show you? Um, so, I think I showed you the Death Trap 24 last week. Um, and so now we can talk about this, which is the, uh, the reference mod for the DNA 250C um from uh, from evolve now this one is one that i received this morning and uh, i have been having an amazing time with this and this is it's mind-blowing it's absolutely 
flipping mind blowing. Um, what I'm going to do is let me just get a different reading so I can show you what happens from the start with this. So stick with me. It's totally going to be worth it. I promise. It is. <laughs> it's Mooch in the house. Hello, Mooch. Uh, uh, yes, this is a new one. Right. Okay. Right, if I pop that back on the other thing. Oh. <laughs> Mooch has a new new uh, new um, video out, by the way. I haven't got around to sharing it as yet, but uh, but I watched that this morning. Good work, Mr. Mooch. Nice work dispelling the myths on INR, IC, MR, LMP. Um, <laughs> talking about different battery chemistry, or at least what, what things signify. So go and check that out if you haven't done so already. And please make sure you do go and subscribe to his channel because it is the most important channel in vaping, in my opinion. Right. Okie koki. So we can uh, let's 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 just let's just fucking get into it, shall we? Let's stop farrying around. Boom, wallop. Now then. Hang on, get my focus right. Focus is... Okie kokie. So at this point, you can see that now I've just popped on this extra coil, this extra uh, atomizer up here. It's asking if that is the resistance, that's 0 0.217. Uh, so at this point, I will go, yes, it's a... Oh, hang on. It's a new atomizer, so I'll choose that one, the middle button there. And wallop. So we've got um, the uh, the the resistance coming up up here. It's rounded up a little bit from 0 0.217 to 0 0.22. Okay, you can then see that it says replay, um, and we've got a blank little uh, little uh, hole there. Now, if I just fire it, it'll ask me if I want to save that puff. Now then, let's just have a little uh, let's just have a little vape on that just for a second. I'm not going to save the puff or anything as yet. Let's make sure we've got plenty of juice on this coil. Um, look, 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 the very last of my uh, Vapor Junkie Peach. Mortified. Mortified I am. Um, right, now I'm using the single coil aspect of the uh, the, the, the Twisted Mrs. 24 um, Pro Series. Just because it's, it's really, really shiny and it looks cool. Right, let's have a little toot and see if I like this. Okay, so I really like that vape that I'm getting at that point. So now I will go onto this uh, little puppy here and I will scroll down to the save puff thing. So I'll scroll down with that button there. Save puff. Yes. Okay, so now... Bearing in mind that you saw all I did was I put the um, the the um, uh, the resistance. I just made sure it was reading the right resistance by praying, pressing yes, and and away we go. So now this is where I'm going to nick myself out. I imagine. <laughs> but uh, let me just make sure that my window is open. Otherwise, we're going to get really vapey in here really quickly. Right now, stick with me just for a minute. This fires instantly, by the way. You ready? One, two, three. Instantly. No fucking about, which is marvellous. Right, now stick with me. This is the, not very exciting, but I am going to vape this dry. All right, stick with me. Not quite there yet. Now, bearing in mind that this was set to 67 watts. So um, that's the only other thing that I could have changed, the wattage. But uh, let's carry on going. No, it's not zero, Nick. Um, whoever asked that? Who, who asked that one? DNNSA. <laughs> this is where I'm going to nick out. Okay, you can see that that is starting to sort of degrade the, uh, the vape a little bit. Let's just take off this top cap. And you can see, look, look. 
okay that's my wick so you can see that we do not have much juice in that wick whatsoever however i'm not finished yet let's just pop this top cap back on here right and transition obviously i'm not uh, i'm not i'm not dri re-dripping or anything along those lines still more juice still coming out It's massively, the vapor's gone down massively, obviously, but. Where's it coming from? Okay, so there's not much more in it. I'm still not scared to vape it, though. Okay, and transition it. Boom, boom, boom. What? Where's where's the uh, where's the juice? Where where who I the juice? Hey, eh? where is it? It's not fucking there, is it? Um. So all in all, what this does is the most the the easiest temp control. But I, oh, hang on. Nothing. Nothing. No then. I get my juice. This oven, I'm just, I'm going to go again, even though it's dry. Nothing, not a hint of burnt. And then I just get my juice, get that all over that there coil, all over the wick. And we'll go into why I think this is a game changer in a second, but ready? wallop back to vapey cloudiness so now this is this is temp control on acid this is temp control and then some in my point of view because what the way this is working and the why this is just mind-blowing to me and obviously apologies for for the vapiness i can't really do anything about that now but um the uh, the 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 way this is working is it's in replay mode i've not had to choose uh, material i've not had to choose whether it's stainless steel or i mean i'm using stainless steel coil i'm using a dual coil uh, no sorry a single coil dual core fused clapton i'm using 226 gauge stainless steel coils with canthal wrapped on the outside i've not had to I've not had to choose the uh, the wire I've not had to choose the um, the TCR settings or anything like that I've not had to choose the temperature or any of that shit all I've done is you adjust the wattage to where you go yeah cool I like that vape that's working out nicely and then um, and then I've just gone click click replay wallop get that up yeah and then that the, the mod works out everything it works out the temperature i was enjoying and the tcr and the, and everything about that coil without excuse me without me having to do anything at all in working that out which i think is is fantastic and it just is working really well And that's fucking marvellous. That, to me, is a game changer. Now, sure, the, the way it works is um, it's going to be based massively off the fluctuation in resistance of a coil. So how temp control, control works is that your coil will read, when you put a coil in, it'll be like, say it'll be a 0.2 coil. If it's stainless steel or titanium or um, NI200, then as that coil heats up, that's going to fluctuate in uh, in um, in uh, um, resistance. And part of that is also going to mean that when it dries up, then uh, that resistance is going to change because the juice isn't on that coil or on that metal that's going to help um, that keeps that resistance down. Now, Daniel, I'm sure, will correct me if I'm if I'm saying this all kind of wrong, but um, that's sort of a super basic way of it working. And uh, what Daniel said there, it's just mind blowing. And I think it will change the whole industry all over again. Absolutely. The reason it has to work on certain wires. Now, Daniel, <clears throat> have you tested this with N80 yet? That's something that I'm super interested in. I've not managed to do it yet. I've only had this since like lunchtime today. So I've not had a chance to really test it yet. But um, but if you're a stainless steel user um, as, a, as a regular coil, or if you like titanium and, and NI200 and what have you, this 
to me stops any fucking about at all which just it it blows my mind it makes things so easy and what this means from an industry standpoint is not only does it mean that you get a workable type of temp control kind of vibe going on but but a super easy one that doesn't require any fucking about um but at the same time it's um it's going to, I mean, imagine imagine never having to have glass in tanks, never having to worry about PMMA tanks and cracking under certain juices, never having to worry about your tank dropping your tank and it kind of, and it and it blowing out your glass. Now, I know that obviously we've got it like the, um, um, the, the uh, Berserker and, and um, K funds and things like that. Some of the higher end tanks come with sort of solid steel kind of barrels as well. But imagine if, if, if uh, all of the uh, tanks could do do that so if you wanted you just you didn't have to pay any attention to uh, how much juice was in there because your mod would tell you by ramping it down it just wouldn't give you a dry hit um, that to me just means fantastic fantastic things um uh, right, Daniel says, yep, Dean, goes by TCR variation other than two other technologies. I'm testing it right now with NI80. It kind of works, but it's still being tweaked with the firmware upgrades from what I understand. Fantastic. So there we go. Daniel, thank you very much for that, buddy. Um, so there we go. So we've if we've got something, I mean, NI80 does or N80 does um, fluctuate a little bit with, uh, with resistance, but to nowhere near the same extent as stainless steel or um, titanium or uh, NI200. So that's... Uh, that, I mean, this to me, and I'm, I know I'm fanboying a little bit about about this, but this to me is just it is potentially stunning because um, someone mentioned in my in my live stream I did for my patrons earlier on today when I unboxed this that. Um, uh, imagine I think it might have been is it Dave Mr. Mr. Motron was it you um, was uh, the, the idea of things like starter devices and what have you using this technology um, which, which would mean that starters wouldn't have to experience dry hits and and I, I've talked about this before in as much as when you're when you're in a new vapor you don't often know what a dry hit is so taking any of that out of the equation and giving it a super simple and easy way of using i think is is fucking bonkers <laughs> uh, you can go back to the grids and the companies with lovely cause replay re yeah absolutely so daniel's saying that uh if uh if coil manufacturers put replay ready then absolutely um so uh yeah no there we go so good to last drop well as, as you a good to last drop indeed Indeed, but no, I think it's I think it's ridiculous. I think it's just I think it's a crazy, crazy clever board, and I think it's really, really good. Now then, you are if you're outside of the US, or I guess if you're if you say you're outside of the US, I don't know. Um, but uh, if you're outside of the US, then you may be able to upgrade your existing DNA seventy five C boards with this technology. Now, when I had a little look on the Evolve website recently, they didn't have uh, it didn't have what I it didn't have anything an upgrade saying that it included the replay function. So I don't know. Once again, I mean, I, I should have just looked for myself rather than asking Daniel. Um, but um, but Daniel, do you know if that did DNA 75C upgrade is uh, is available yet? I don't know. I don't know. Um, I don't think it is. But if it isn't, it will be very, very soon indeed. But uh, no, for, for I think you're going to dig this. I think this technology is ridiculous. It's ridiculously clever. And uh, and to me, it's going to blow away any literally any mod. If you've, if you've used temp control and thought, yeah, I like the idea, but I can't be asked to fuck about with it. Any mod that has things like TCR curves and all that sort of stuff is now completely irrelevant. You don't need any to, to worry about any of that, which is fucking ridiculous. Just ridiculous. So I think it's just fantastic. I think it. I think it's a, a ridiculously clever thing. So that's me fanboying like a motherfucker over that. I'm afraid, but uh, but. It blows my mind. They they're super super clever and just making it awesome. Um, uh, George, uh, as uh, as um, Daniel DJLSB is saying that uh, that it is uh, he is testing that at the moment as well, and that is something that they are going to be working on. Now, in this reference mod at the minute, oh, and this is something else. Oh. 
<laughs> something else that you should probably... Uh, SR Bod, Bod, Bond, Bontra, Bontrager, Bontrager, thank you very much for your $5 donation in the Super Chat there. It'll be amusing as hell to see China try and imitate this new Evolve technology. I just don't think they're going to be doing it. Um, uh, Chris Dalby, I'm not using Cantha right now. I'm using stainless steel, buddy. I did talk about the coils a little earlier on. Um, uh, now then. Let's have a just just show you this. This is this is quite cool. All right, I'm going to cancel that setting for a moment. Now then, let's go to my uh, the, the the wattage mode. All right, and turn this wattage up at the mo. Oh no, that's the wrong one. Hang on, press the right button, Dean. Right. Now stick with me. Stick with me. This is just this is ridiculous. If you haven't seen this, this is going to blow your mind. Over a hundred watts. Over two hundred watts. Over three hundred watts. 400 watt maximum now this is obviously using a 4s lipo so essentially a full cell lipo to allow 400 watts and the way this is going to work is one cell so one battery will be 100 watts two cells 200 watts three cells 300 watts four cells 400 watts from what i understand that scrolling is ridiculously quick and uh yes there we go but whew, what <laughs> <laughs> Can you remember when uh, when Evolve brought out the DNA two hundred and and uh, it would it gone against everything that uh, Evolve had said previously and it was like nah we don't need uh, big wattage and now they've gone do you know what if you want big wattage <laughs> bosh have it <laughs> which obviously I see absolutely no point whatsoever in having the uh, in having this at uh, four hundred watts but uh, but you know. It's a thing. Uh, now then, <laughs> um, it's a. I mean, it will not hit four hundred watts. Re Brittany, really, who gives a crap? It's, 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 it's literally. It's, it's just. A, it's a thing, isn't it? And I'm sure. Uh, I'm sure Daniel will be able to show us massively with whether or how close to that it gets. Um, now then. <laughs> DNA 75 theme themes will be uh, compatible uh, with just one or two tweaks on the layout. Fantastic. Um, that's good to know. Is it is it already on the DNA, uh, the Evolve Forums um, upgrade stuff, Daniel? Is it? It's not. Or did I did I miss that? I might have missed that. Um, but uh, but no, there we go. Uh, uh, Dean, they explained the 400 watts and some leverage for the feature to work super fast. Absolutely, yeah. I mean, you're, you're not going to vape at 400 watts. That's ridiculous. You'd have to put such a massive coil in there made of coat hanger wire that uh, that it would be, you know, it's it's not it's not a thing. But you've got just a fuck ton of power. I think we can safely say that you're with the right cells, you're not going to be wanting power. You've got the ability to have a lot. That's, you know, that's, <laughs> that's, that's about the sum of it, I think. Um... Uh, it'll be the most efficient board ever too like battery life with the 4s is epic absolutely i mean the battery life is ridiculous it is it is ridiculous um i have vaped hard on this all afternoon and uh, i've still got 57 percent battery life going on on here so it's going jolly jolly well but no i mean to me i am i'm i'm truly stunned by the technology that they use here and i will have some more information about this on the channel uh later this week so i'm very excited to to be able to share some more info for you guys but fuck me what um well i like that vape so i go to save puff boom that's it that's the vape i'm gonna get fucking awesome anyway so that, ladies and gentlemen, I shared that with my uh, the Patreon people earlier on today, and uh, I felt it's important to share that with you because I think that this this technology there's it's bound to be a couple of little tweaks and bits and bobs that are going to have to happen with it, but for for what it for what it is i think it's it's truly stunning uh what's in the wood what's it retail at um this isn't the, this is the reference mod um hang on i've just got i've got i've got blinds to close uh, uh that way and that way hang on hang on this is the reference mod that uh, that evolve our uh, trying out the board with i think this is this is what daniel's got as well um so this isn't uh, this isn't a mod that they're selling this is just uh, what they use i had a very similar one 
Brandon gave me a, the similar one for uh, for the DNA 75C when that first came out. This is basically what uh, Evolve put together and go, right, let's see how the board works. So the mod isn't for sale, uh, but it, but you are going to get the one... The, the mods that I know of that have got this coming on already are there's Boxer, I think, are doing one and Lost Vape are doing one. I don't know who else is doing one as yet. However, um, I have got a, uh, a board here as well, which I will be making into a, uh, a mod. I'm going to make, probably make like a dual 2650 um, mod with, with that. So I'm very excited about that. Um, now, is that... Is that all the new stuff? Now I did show you, um, I did show you the little uh, the little foot from Wake Mod Co. quite some time ago, and this little uh, this little mod here. And my one had a couple of problems. Now they, they have uh, they have recently sent me. Oh, what I've got to say? Oh, yeah, hang on, I'll come back to that. Um, they have recently sent me another one of these, so I can uh, I can try this out and make sure that it's all working fine and dandy. Now the uh, the mod and the Twisted Messes Pro series. Uh, both came via. I mean, Kent sent the uh, the, the twisted messages um, RDAs across via um, my friend Andy at Ohms Distro in the UK. So if you're a shop or your shop um, wants to get those in, then go and see Ohms Distro. And uh, the uh, the Evolve stuff came directly from Brandon at Evolve. So. You are going to see this all over the place, and I think you'll see you'll see a lot of uh, you'll see a lot of reviewers kind of getting quite excited about this because I think it's I think you know there there may be some some tweaking, but it just it works so well, and it is just magic that you don't have to you don't have to fanny about with anything. You just go, yeah, I like that vape. Hit replay, and boom, done. I haven't had to worry about I haven't had to fuck about with anything. That's that's awesome. That's my this is brilliant. <laughs> anyway, there we go. So uh, what, what let's have a little look at the chat. Clarification uh, it is kind of yeah, um, yeah, it is it is it is like TC. It is like TC. Um, but it's um, it's uh, as Daniel's saying, it's using kind of t um, t uh, temp control um, in the way of measuring the uh, the resistance of the coil. But it's using other other sort of bits and bobs in there as well, which means that you don't, like I said earlier on, you don't have to set TCR values, you don't have to set temperature, you don't have to set any of that sort of stuff. All you're doing is you're getting a vape that you like, you're adjusting your wattage, so your wattage is where you want it, as you would do just in normal power mode, and then you go, yep, I like that, boom done one click fixed that's that's you sorted you haven't got to worry about fannying about with anything else whatsoever which is you know i mean it's 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 when you just use a regular stainless steel coil just a, a regular kind of round wire build or something you might know that it's you know you put your tcr at like um, 92 or 94 or something like that um, which will vary on different mods obviously um, but uh, but no, when you when you use Claptons and all that sort of stuff, you'll tend to go off to to steam engine and you look for your TCR values in the wire wizard and all that. So sort of, you don't have to do any of that. None of that. None of it. You just go click. I like this vape. Click, click, <laughs> and it just it it figures it all out. It's magic. It's it's magic. I think it's fucking marvelous. Um, so uh, yeah, there we go. <laughs> so that to me, I think is is a game changer with regards to how that works. I think is is just truly truly stunning. And so um, I have only had it for a day. So I've, I've well, not even had it for a day since lunchtime today. So I've had it for like eight hours or something. Um, and so I have got to do a uh, a whole bunch more with that so I can really kind of get used to it. But uh, it it just blows me away. It blows me away. Um, have you tried big complex coils like frame staples? Um, I, Rob, as I said, literally only had it today. So I've just got my fuse claptons in there that I use on everything else. So uh, I haven't done that as yet. Oh, I have got another thing to show you as well. Let's go into that one quickly, shall we? So this is um, this is from RigMod Worldwide. And this is the 41 from RigMod Worldwide. Now, this is kind of it's an interesting one from those guys. I did. I've had a, uh, a pre-production kind of uh, test one for for ages 
since well for, for eight for months now actually um since well before christmas and uh, there we go this is the uh, rda now we've got sort of a um an interesting kind of deck situation going on here you can see what we're looking at on the outside very similar to sort of previous looking rdas that we've seen from the rig guys um and where we go with that underneath now then if i just take this off now James from Rig had this sent by, who was it? Uh, I can't remember their name. Can't remember their name. But um, I will try to remember. There we go. So what we've got going on here is we do have clamps going on. Now we've seen clamps before, so that's that's not particularly mind blowing, and they are quite kind of tight clamps and all that sort of stuff. But you can press them without you know killing your fingers like we have seen on some other RDAs. But what we've got on these that are slightly different is we've also got the Allen bolts as well. So you kind of you pop your you pop your clamp down, you stick your wire in, you let your clamp up again, and then if needs be, you can then tighten it up by the using the uh, the the clampy pardon me the allen key screws at the top so we have options so there you go that's the thing so it's uh i i I, I didn't quite get it to be honest with you and I did feedback that to uh, to rig when I first got my uh, the original one but uh, no it's a good looking atomizer it doesn't vape badly at all but uh, no I will uh, I will test the crap out of this one and let you guys know absolutely but uh, no there we go so that's that's it I think that's everything that's come in that's new now that I really wish I could remember the company Ah, the company that that um, very kindly sent me the uh, that on for after after Rig asked them to also sent me a bunch of just jam e liquid. So I've got like this, and um, we've got uh, a ginger one, and we've got a lemon one, and we've got a vanilla one, and we have some these things called custard K S T R D. Um, which I've got like vanilla, uh, banana and purple. <laughs> Don't really know what colour purple is or, or what uh, flavour purple is, but we got them. Oh, oh, fuck, who was it? Oh, who was it? Anyone who was in my... Da uh, David, can you remember from my uh, from my Patreon stream earlier on? Fuck, I can't remember. But anyway, they sent me all these juices and um, didn't send me any nick shots. <laughs> so I haven't got any nick shots. So um, I'm not vaping them. So there we go. Who the fuck was it? Oh, Ace of Vapes. Was it Ace of Vapes? Might have been Ace of Vapes. I think it might have been. Um, so uh, so yes, I, I no nick shots. Then you see the thing is, then yes, I could use my my uh, the sort of my stores of my 72 milligram nicotine that I use for for uh, for, for for mixing up flavors, but. If that's not the nicotine that is being used in the uh, um, in the in the normal stuff, like you as a customer, you go out and buy it, um, and then I, uh, I I kind of I just stick my own in there and I vape it and I go, yeah, this is marvelous. But the nicotine that they use is is poop by comparison, for instance, or vice versa. It could go the other way around. Then I'm not giving it a fair run, am I? Hey, no. Um, this is really bugging me. Hold on a second. Uh, uh vaping biker ah oh, yep yeah, the ace of vapes there we go there we go so there we go that's that's who sent me that as far as i know um yes i can't remember i'm sure i'm sure i'm sure it was though i'm sure it was um so yes uh the dna replay feature sounds similar to ijoy solo's taste control um the watch resolution of the uh do you remember that dean um no no i do not but I can tell you that in my in my limited testing, this works. Unlike uh, unlike uh, some other stuff that I've used. Strange question: Does the TM24 Pro 810 drip tip adapter fit in the Entheon RDA to put on 810 drip tips? Uh, I've not tried it. I've not tried it, and um, no, I don't know. I don't know the answer to that, I'm afraid. So what else has been going on? So what we've got going on, I'm not going to show you this. I've done sort of background stuff to uh, to the rest of my, uh, to the to the Patreon guys. But um, I've, I've had a massive rechange. So my studio now is completely different to how it was. So with the help of my wonderful wife over the weekend, everything got ripped out. And then I made sort of 3D renders of everything to uh, make sure I could fit things back in again. And now my, my working space is 
fucking gorgeous. I really, really like it. Um, I've got loads of space all floating around, but it means that I don't have access. <laughs> like before, when I used to be able to just go, boop, there we go, I'll get that mod off the shelf. I don't have that ability anymore. <laughs> because <laughs> everything is way over the other side of the room so <laughs> so i have to have what i what i want to vape next to me but um but no other than that jobs are picking good now then anything else uh good evening mr vape and bike how are you sir great british vapes i am fine and dandy thank you very much how are you great british vapes um what else have we got any other questions is there any other questions because i'm not going to be doing this i'm not doing a super late one tonight i'm not I know I started this like half an hour late, but um, but uh, I'm pooped after after doing all of the the move around over the weekend. I'm very sore. I'm very tired, and uh, and um, that accounts massively for why I, I just dozed off earlier on. I, I went into the other room and thought, right, I'll go and have a shower in a second. I'll just lay on bed and just watch this video for a minute, and uh, and and, <laughs> and dozed off, and that was me done for an hour. Um, uh ben mateman gonna go and pick up my better half thank you very much ben thank you very much for joining me while you were here my friend say hello to your better half for me i know we've never met but you know why the hell not um, <laughs> um what else we got <coughs> uh wild question i love my headley but now i seek a little area rda with similar flavor and single coil um airflow um there's loads of single coil bangers floating around now i've got another single coil a new single coil um affair coming across in the very near future which is a little bit on the pricey side to be fair and i think is it is it canadian is it canadian i think it might be canadian i think i can't remember i cannot remember let me just have a little look um where are we where are we where are we where are we i can't find it i can't find it but it looks a, a dinky little rda um and uh oh no i'm just looking on the chat with him now and nope can't see it so um i've got something a little bit sexy coming up in the very near future uh what else have we got going on yeah i mean as far as single coilers there's loads so just i mean there, it seems to have been the single coil atomizer seems to have been the thing over the last maybe four months or so four to six months something like that um it's just it's just seems to have, have really gone crazy with single coilers so there's a bunch of them like that if you're looking at it's particularly low um low power vaping then look for something with a reasonably small and enclosed um chamber inside there don't have just a big dirty great wide thing um i did the review for the IN24 this week just gone and uh, that was the, the the chamber inside was just so so big that it was uh, it just it, it didn't give a great vape it just didn't do it on a single coil um uh, DIY down under what is your best DIY DIY recipe so far whoosh um i think i've done a couple and just before the office move, about uh, about two weeks before the office move, I, I had a couple of uh, flavours that I was having, having a steeping away, which I was quite, getting pretty proud of. And uh, and then I've not vaped them since. So I need to find them <laughs> and then uh, and then get vaping them again. Otherwise, my offended by my offended by fenders V2, which is only liquid recipes, um, I think is my favourite one that I've come up with so far uh right dinky rda is in wasp nano yeah yeah maybe maybe um right what else have we got vaping biker that's me done for the night don't be a long dean have an early night all right guys thank you very much indeed <laughs> thank you very much for hanging out um tomorrow i've got a haircut going on which is very exciting i'm also having my first day of going into uh into the city on the wheelchair and i'm, I'm there won't be a video of me from me up tomorrow because i will be uh, i will be in the city i'll have a haircut and then um i am going to uh, i'm going to go and do some photography i'm going to take lots of pictures which is going to be good so i can't i can't wait for that um what else we got going on? Any other questions? Let me know if you've got any other questions um, because I, uh, I I will answer them before I go. <laughs> I'm still half asleep. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> Dean in Speedos. What? <laughs> I haven't worn Speedos for many a year. <laughs> <laughs> I did at one point in time, I'm sure. Uh, uh, my ears, is anyone else's ears one higher up than the other? Because that's the hat straight, right? That's straight on the hat. And this is touching my ear, and it's not touching my ear on this side. What the fuck's that about? Um, 
Admiral 2700 or 1111 2700. Cannot remember the difference. Go and check out my last um, review where I did a copper mod. I think I show it in the Dreamer review and you'll see what they look like. But uh, they're both both very good, very good um, mods. As well as the uh, another another 2700 would be the Outcast from Rig, which is also another another fungus. There's loads of them. There's loads. I think I've looked at a few. Um, what else we got going on? Orgvape V200 versus Double Barrel V2.1. Double Barrel. Are you talking about this? Um, this. This every day of the week. I love this. Have you polished the current claymore yet? Yes, Kenneth, I have, and I have used it, and uh, and it's 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 got dirty again. So yes, we've we've we've. I think I've polished this a couple of times now, actually. So yes, I'm using the crap out of the claymore. That's getting woofing woof great testing. Uh, <laughs> no Vabers, hey, what's up, Dino? What's up with you, buddy? Um, George Harrison, what's your favourite tank? The Berserker. There we go. I haven't really got any favourite tanks because I am a squonk man. But uh, from a berserker, I love the berserker. I do actually really like the um, the the. What did I review recently from um, Statquam? The scrape, the the little scrape, the scrape EC. I really like that as well. I think that's a really good little flavour um, from a from a lung kind of perspective. A little flavour banger there. So I'm really enjoying that one. I also actually really like the Bravo. Is it the Bravo I liked? Yeah, it was the Bravo from Watofo. That was really good as well. So go and check those ones out. Um, now then, what else we got going on? Uh, I think your right ear might be lower than your left. <laughs> I think you could be right. What's in the woods? <laughs> um, uh, what else? Yeah, yes, there are too many options. The problem is when you close the airflow. Uh, so I search for an idea. He's use max airflow. Uh, but hair rope. See, it's difficult. Nedim. I can't even think about pronouncing your surname. It's difficult because, you know, what could be just a hint more open for me might not be a hint more open for you, you know? So it's very difficult to go with. Uh, will you be partaking in some Expo action? Um, uh, Great British Vapes Expo. Yes, I will be at the Expo going for the entire um, for the entire weekend. And I will be at Jam. But I think for the Jam, I'm only going to go down for the Saturday. So uh, Expo the full thing, but Jam just the one day. Um, so that's going to be happening. I'm also going to a photography show at the NEC next month, which I'm very excited about. Uh, going with my dad, having a, having a bloke weekend with my old man. So I'm very much looking forward to that one. Um, what else we got going on? Uh, can you participate in a live interview uh, for a Greek channel? I've replied and said yes. Are you the person that that, that asked me? That's, that's emailed me asking? I can't remember the name of your channel. But um, this, there we go. Um, uh, where did you get the double barrel? This was a, who asked that one? Uh, David Boyd. This was a present from a very, very nice chap um, who's uh, one of my patrons and uh, yeah, it, from America. So there you go. Kevin, man, where do you get your nick from for DIY? Um, I have stores because before it all, uh, before it all kind of closed up shop, I uh, I bought a, a, a lot. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, it's it sits in my freezer so there we go that's where that's where that comes from um have you ever had problems with nick salt i've the only nick salt ones that i've tried are the doctor salt juices um i've they're the only ones that i've tried so that's all i can tell you on that one um uh nope we just admire you in grace oh well thank you very much indeed it's uh, oh uh, I can't remember. Drop me an email. Drop me an email. Info at vapingbiker.co.uk. I'm always happy to go on shows and stuff, but obviously my Greek is uh, is pretty terrible, to be fair. Any Greek that I, that I learned from my couple of years in uh, in Crete um, has been completely forgotten now. <laughs> I can go kala, poli kala, yasu kali, nisha kala, spera, kali, and all that sort of stuff. But there we go. Do you have to worry about expiration on the nick? Um, when it's in the when it's in the um, in the freezer, not really, not not quite so much. I mean, I think it will expire at some point in time, but I don't know when that is. Can we expect triple uh, XL trickle the wick, tickle the wick shirts? Right. Ah, now then, that's a good point. So, um, I think I showed. Did I show you last time? Yeah, I showed you. I, I'm. I, I think I'm pretty sure I did. This is my vaping biker, and it's got my big old. 
Can't you can't see? Um, big old sort of skull um, uh, logo on the back, and uh, I'm trialing this because this is a triple XL hoodie, and it's huge. It's massive. And uh, I'm really, really enjoying this at the moment. But this is from a new printer from my normal merch store. So um, this is, uh, I'm just trialing this at the minute. Once I've washed this a couple of times, then I'll know for sure if I'm going to be going with these guys or not. But they hold much bigger sizes than my merch store currently has. So um, so as long as this works out fine, I'm really impressed with the quality of the print so far. And uh, as long as everything works out how it should do, then hopefully you'll get the triple X stuff uh, very, very soon indeed. But I'll make sure I let everybody know about that. That. Um, that being said, I did put a new design which is not advertiser friendly. <laughs> I showed, I showed, uh, hang on, hang on, hang on. Now then, now look, look here. If I, if I minimize that for a second, hopefully you're still there. I'm a little bit scared because I'm, I'm, I'm making things go away now. But let me, let me just do, let me open this up. There we go and wallop and we will do some of this boom can you still hear me hopefully you can still hear me yeah that's moving around so that's my uh <laughs> incredibly childish not advertiser friendly t-shirt so if that's the sort of thing that that tickles your taste buds then uh then wallop <laughs> <laughs> it is a thing but um that's in the store at the moment if that's the sort of thing and essentially what happens now is that uh every single one of my videos without a doubt gets um gets demonetized absolutely and uh and I, i've got some videos that have been de demonetized they've gone up okay then they've uh then they've, it's been demonetized and then um and then I've, I've 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 sent it in for review. It's been reviewed. It's been okayed. And then it's demonetized again. So it's doing my tits in. So uh, that was my incredibly childish and fun way of poking fun at that one. But that one is over at the store now, and it's a little bit duller. You'll see in the last two reviews that I've done that um, I was wearing that shirt. So you can see what that sort of color looks out at. But the the double XL, which is the maximum size those guys go to at the moment, is actually really really quite chunky. So that's rather good. Um, now then, let me just close my window a little bit because I realize that it's getting very very late and I don't want to upset the neighbors more than I need to and oh god uh, some of that wallop boom um, so uh, what's demonetized um, they, they basically go nope you're not ad friendly so you're not going to earn anything so that's that's it. Um, and it just is really randomly happening. So this is why I have the things like the support of uh, and I'm incredibly grateful for the support of my uh, the, the guys that support me on, on Patreon, because um, it's without that, it, it would make my life much, much more difficult. Um, but uh, there you go. Anyway. So that's on there. Oh, what I was saying. Yeah, the, the, the double X, they've changed the 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 shirt material the shirt manufacturer so it actually turns out to be a little bit bigger than uh, than previous shirts so you know that's a thing um now is there anything else what else what else is going on what else is what else is going on um da -da 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 uh why is patreon in dollars because it's an american company that's a uh, the most I can tell you. <laughs> so when I when I when I get my money from Patreon, I have to then uh, convert it from dollars to to pounds. It's a it's a bit of a thing, but you know it's American, isn't it? Um, best show in vaping. Thank you, Mister Mottram. Uh, David, you got one. Did you find that the size was kind of a little bit of more of a relaxed fit than previous sizes? Let me know. Um, uh, what else have we got? Uh, any other questions? I'm just looking for things that have started off with um, at Vaping Biker because that's the only way I can really kind of work my way through all of the comments. Dean, do you post your photography photos online? I will be. I think it's a, uh, is it a Flickr account? Is that the one? No, not Flickr. Is it Flickr? I don't know. What 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 is it? What do photographers use <laughs> that doesn't degrade your, your thingamajig? I can't remember. I can't remember. I've got I've got a, I've got an account with someone which I will be using at some point in time. 
but um, I will have some more news about um, about uh, some kind of my photography and other interests and what have you coming up very very soon as well. Um, but uh, no, it's uh, it's yeah, it'll be a thing. It's a thing. Uh, now then, the double XL fits me fine, and I have a fifty inch chest. Great to know. Thank you very much, Stan. Um, which regulated squonk mod would you recommend for a newbie squonker? Um, this load depends how much money you want to spend. Uh, regulated the the Geek Vape G box that works out to be pretty good uh what else have we got the rsq from uh, rig mod worldwide if you're not going crazy power single battery for the rsq dual battery for the uh for the for the geek vape one um but uh but no there's there's a few on offer now i can't remember what i've what i've reviewed the drone i'm still using the drone like a if you can find a drone that's obviously got a uh, one of my a wrap on it from zap wraps but uh i'm still using my uh, my drone daily and i think it's uh, i think it's grand although run out of juice this was this was my northern syrup and i've got like a tiny amount left in the bottom of that one now as well gutted gutted i tell you um so there we go there's that uh what else have we got do you think dnas are worth the extra money yes yes i do i think that there are a lot if you just if you're just going to be a wattage vapor then um you know there's a crap ton of mods that do a grand job of being able to give you a good vape um because all it's doing is is just putting electricity up into that coil so that's you know that's all you've got to worry about and as long as that happens jobs are fucking good so that's ace but um uh um for everything that comes with the dna for the for how it works for i mean things like this this new replay thing just blows my mind so yes i think they're absolutely worthwhile definitely um you should do a shirt that says uh yeah it's a thing <laughs> quite possibly um no for vapors will you be going to the states anytime soon i would love to i would i would f donate a gonad in order to <laughs> across to america i'd love to get to america and canada to be honest with you but uh it's uh it's far too expensive for me at the moment so uh not something that i'm planning on doing but you never know you never know there might be uh someone might might decide that i need to be over at a vape show over there one day we bring the americans over here but no one takes us brutes over there <laughs> Uh, Steve-O, did you see the photoshops of you, Mark, Damien and Scott Bonner? They were all awesome in Todd's group. Yes, I did. They were fantastic. Um, and there was uh, the one where I was knighting um, uh, uh, um, Todd was was particularly special. Um, what else we got? Will you be vlogging the photography show? I, I haven't announced anything. <laughs> A bad boy t-shirt, quite possibly. Quite possibly. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, yeah, I mean, there's there's going to be a bunch of different uh, a different sort of styles. I'm really enjoying doing sort of different merchy things, just because. I mean, like I said before, I earn like two quid a share off things, so it's not like it's not going to it's not going to kind of boost my bank balance massively. But it uh, it just amuses me greatly, and I like. I, I think it's cool. I don't know about you guys, but I like having my. I've got my grim shirts and stuff, and I like a lot of uh, my vapey vapey shirts. But there's not many that are kind of a funky little designs or fun designs and stuff so that's that's kind of why i'm pushing for for doing more merchy things just because i think it's cool and i think i, I enjoy wearing some vapey gear now and then if it's funky or it makes me smile um <clears throat> we need to start a go for me to bring Viker to the states <laughs> now just 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 keep hammering the uh get get the ecc organizers and everyone email them and say you need to bring the vape and biker right <laughs> <laughs> Dustin Vapor, sup, sup to you too, Dustin. I don't know why I have to go sup. I don't know why I have to do that, but uh, you know it's a thing. Uh, <laughs> so uh, there we go. <clears throat> um, anything? Any more for any more? Anyway, I love the drone vaping bike and need to update mine. No, <clears throat> absolutely. I mean, I, I just the the drone. I just use the drone in power mode and uh, and have a grand job with it. To be honest with you. Uh, is there anything else? Is there anything else in my in my office move? I found a load of shed life stickers, and seeing as Mister Todd's not coming on tonight, um, you can all give me um, kind of cheeky ideas about what I can do with his shed life stickers. Um, is there anything else I can show you? I'm not going to show you the uh, the space for the time being. I'll, I'll wait and uh, and uh, and uh, show you that when it's all when it's all properly sorted out and when it's all uh, super lovely. Um, your favourite DIY concentrate company. Now, are you asking about manufacturer? Um, I can't read your name. I don't want to say 
what I think it is in case I'm wrong. But Miss, Mr. Man from Greece, I can't remember your name. Um, uh, um, if it's uh, if it's the manufacturer, it's going to be dependent on the the, uh, the flavour massively. But uh, when it comes to buying um, uh, 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 concentrates, I have been using I've been using Vapable. I've been using Rainbow Vapes um, in the UK. They they seem to be really rather good. Vapable and Rainbow Vapes seem to have a really good um, collection of uh, of juices of concentrates in their stocks. So th that's why I've been using those guys. Also, e liquid flavor concentrates. I think I've used those guys in the past um, and a whole bunch of stuff. So yeah, there's uh, there, there we go. But no, it it does depend be, depend massively um on uh on <laughs> i've just seen it going on uh, on what flavor i'm going for uh custer a bad boy t-shirt don't trigger me <laughs> right <laughs> i think what else is there anything else to tell you um, I've been. Uh, I'm still. I'm still vaping away on here at the moment. I've not cleaned that out yet. I've still got the phobia ticking over on top of my V from Dovpo. Uh, still having a grand time time with that. Um, a review that will be out this week will be for this Capo uh, two one six, which is meh to the highest degree. Um, this thing is still huge. I showed you this last week. This iJoy tie dye hippie mod, whatever it is, um, blade. That's massive. Um, the uh, the uh, did I show you this? Did I show you this last week that I had one of these? I can't remember the Vupu Mojo. Um, with uh, I did take this apart because you can see inside the uh, inside the vent holes, uh, you could see kind of red, and I didn't know if that was a lead or what was going on there. And um, and uh, that was the, the the plastic that was going around the battery. But uh, you've got kind of the bit of sponge, and I haven't taken the sponge off yet to see if it is because I was told on my Instagram that uh, that it's not absorbent. Um, but uh, because it's so close to where those the vent holes are, I was very concerned that if you put this down and your tank dumped its juice all down the mod overnight, for instance, that that would soak up directly on the battery connection because it's just on the other side of this door. Um, but uh, you can't, you still can't lock the up and down functions of this, which I think makes it a bit rubbish. It's quite comfortable, and the tank that comes with it doesn't fit. So that's uh, that's always nice. It overhangs. Uh, just say hello from Serbia. I'm off to bed. All right, A1. A1. A A A Is that how you pronounce your name? Hello. Um, but have a good night. Uh, put the stickers up in phone boxes if you can find any with escort ones. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, Dean, I know you've tried the Cheetah 2 RDA. Can you give me a rundown on how you build it? I've reviewed the Cheetah 2, so go and check out that review. That should tell you everything you need to know on that one. Uh, what's your best current Squonk mod at the moment? Well, I, I, there, there isn't a best, but what I've got on my desk as far as Squonkers go is... Uh, um, fuck, I've only got the drone. But this is just because I've uh, I've just done my uh, my office remodelling. But yeah, the drone is what's on the desk at the moment because it's got the uh, the Death Trap Twenty Four on it. Um, which still, if you go to Evolution Vaping in the UK, get you and use the code Biker, you can still get a discount on that one at the moment. Um, I love you, Mister Biker. You're a cool dude. Thank you very much, Stephen Joseph. I love you too. Um, uh, I gave up smoking out and I spend more on vaping at least so I can breathe absolutely Tony and this is a thing that you don't have to buy stuff do you in vaping it's just once we get into this kind of hobbyist area we kind of all get to this point of going fuck I want to get the, the new thing because it's cool um, uh, but uh, the same is the same as any hobby isn't it but uh, no if you can you can just you can just get a setup and then you can vape away on that one to your heart's content for years and have a jolly good time you don't have to keep up doing it but uh, no cracking uh, what else we got going on? Um, uh, oh, have you seen the new dual cell regulated squonga by own boy OC and Desire? Yes, I have. I've seen it. I've not tried it. I've seen it on Instagram and all that sort of good stuff. Uh, Guybrush Reaper, what do you think of the Pulse 80 watt after the sneak peek by Tony? I think it certainly looks very, very interesting. I think for me, it's going to fall into the same sort of zone. Pardon me, I'm very windy tonight. As the uh, the RSQ from Rig. And hot sig, I think it's going to be a great little uh, single single battery banger. I think it's going to go, go really really nicely. I'm looking forward to being able to try one of those out. Um, what else, uh, Dean? What do you think of Rip Trippers? I think he's an amazing businessman. I think he's uh, he what he's done for vaping is ridiculous. Whether you like him and agree with everything that he's put out into the world, I mean the man's been been on been doing stuff for a long long time now. So he's he's obviously um, he's he's not he's not perfect. He's human after all, but. Uh, uh, the fact that he's got to this million subscriber mark isn't 
isn't something kind of, I mean, you know, numbers, you know, what the fuck do numbers mean? But when it comes to vaping, he's the first vaping reviewer to get to that level, which means that the, the normalcy, the, the kind of the, 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 the general worldwide acceptance of vaping and, and it, it shows that there is a lot to happen. I mean, people people worry too much about numbers, especially in vaping, because, you know, when, when you get to kind of, I think Grimm's got about 350,000, somewhere along those lines. Um, once you get to, you know, when, under that 100,000 mark, people, especially under that number, people tend to get all excited and all kind of angry and upset about these numbers. They mean nothing. No one cares. Nobody gives a shit. The only thing it does do is, as a, as a content creator, it kind of, the more people that are into it, just shows that you're doing a good job. So everyone's a winner. But um, but once you get to that million level, once you get to that sort of ridiculous number, that isn't just, you know, you doing a good job. That means that vaping as a whole is getting more accepted in the big outside worlds, which is which is mind blowing. It gives hope to all of us reviewers that uh, that somebody is doing that. So regardless of whether you like what he does or not, he's done something that nobody else has done for vaping, which I think has to be commended. And uh, as a businessman, fucking right. Yeah, crack on. Good. He, I think he's. I think he's good. And I learned to build coils from Rip back in the day. I think mine was a, a twisted sleeper coil or something that I did. It was my very first coil build, and that was all thanks to Rip. Um, now then, uh, thanks for the code. So I'll check out the uh, with the code. Good stuff. Thank you very much, George. Uh, I don't know. I'm th saying thank you. I get nothing for it. Uh, Sparky's one thousand vapor. I could watch your video on the freehand S before I ordered mine. Would you put some Howard's feed wax on the wood under the mechanical switch? I'd leave it bare. To be honest with you, I suppose it wouldn't hurt it if you wanted to. You could do. But uh, I've, I, it's not certainly something I've done. Uh, got to go. Great British Vapes. Thank you very much for joining us anyway. Um, I'm getting the VP drag tomorrow in the mail tomorrow. Can't wait. Good stuff, John Lamaru. Um, uh, what else have we got going on here? Huh? Anything else? Uh, is David Mottram out? Is he gone as well? Oh, you see. It's that time of night, isn't it? Um, numbers mean everything in Viping right down to... <laughs> They really don't. Stan, my new 3D printer arrived today. Looking forward to some advice on designing mods. In, in. Absolutely. Sorry, Stan, I know you are in the uh, the Patreon feed earlier on today, and I think you mentioned it as well, but I was so excited about this thing that I completely ignored you. I do apologise. But, uh, yeah, that's good. I'm looking forward to, to, to doing some stuff. What I'm going to do is I'm actually going to do a live... Um, uh, kind of mod design thing for the Patreon guys at some point in time and how I do it with super easy software. So that should be interesting. You're a true reviewer. Thank you very much, Kidbass. That's very kind of you. Um, hello from Paris. What do you think of the Revenant Cartel mod? The only Revenant Cartels that... Is the Revenant Cartel? Uh, the Revenant by Cartel, wasn't it? The only time I've seen that was at a show... Was it the start of last year where I saw one of those and um, it had an internal battery? And if there was anything ever went wrong with the battery, you had to you had to send send the whole mod back, which seemed like a stupid idea. But uh, I think they do them with um, with uh, eighteen six fifties now, so you know they look pretty. Never tried one though. Um, any dates on the replay for the seventy five C? I don't think so. We were talking about that earlier on. I don't think there are uh, DB. I'm afraid. Um, do you have a Bitcoin address? No, no, I don't. Unfortunately, I did do a, a thing. Think it that it was kind of Bitcoin relevant. I think, um, but um, but no, I, I, it's all beyond me. All that sort of stuff. To be honest with you, um, all I do is I have the the, the Patreon for the regular contributors and contributors and uh, and the PayPal dot me me that's in the description. That's all I do, buddy. Um, uh, we always say so he's, uh, admittedly he's made mistakes but uh, you're right we're only human absolutely Stephen Joseph and let's say I mean there's very few people that have been vaping kind of three or four years that don't have something positive to say about Rip sure he's made some 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 dubious videos or a couple and it's not that many I mean you look at the amount of content that he's put out into the world you know the, the, the couple of things that have kind of thrown the world into uproar um, are really kind of quite inconsequential in the grand scheme of things he does do a fucking good job. Do you have 
Um, any pure mouth lung RDA BF to show us smaller than 22? No, not smaller than 22. I am not the right channel for that at all, Luca, I'm afraid. Um, that will be something that uh, is worth going and checking out Mr. Todd's channel for. Um, but uh, the only thing smaller than a 22 mil atomizer that I've used was ooh, a couple of three years ago now was the Desmo I think that came out of Spain if I remember correctly um, and uh, and uh, that was a hell of a thing that was that was that was crazy interesting and uh, yeah that was the only what's tiny little one that I've done um, does it feel of tone control when vaping or wattage mode uh, the replay feature um, it feels like a really really good temp control or a uh, yeah 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 really good temp control i guess so it just i mean it just it reduces your uh your vape as as the uh, as the as the but it doesn't see this is the thing it kind of gives you unlike some a lot of temp control mods that really throttle back massively um the replay feature kind of gives you a uh a, a much less harsh throttle back so as soon as that coil starts drying up it doesn't go fucking no i'm not gonna do anything it just it gives you a kind of a, a broader fit. it's hard to describe it's really hard to, but it's it's brilliant it's fantastic i love it do i use stacked mech mods much asks neil m um no i do use them on occasions i've used the uh what have i got the uh the the oh who made the twisted one i've got the stacked version of that which is pretty badass um i've had the st stacked rig uh the purge that's the purge twisted i've had stacked and the rig i've had stacked and my dual stacked 26 650 from bay city vapor the bfm um i've uh, i've used that i think that's the only stacked mods that i've used um, but uh, I do use them on occasions, just for shits and giggles. Um, what else have we got? Hi, nice cap. What does it say? It says Vape and Biker. Available in the merch store if you go to vapeandbiker.co.uk. <laughs> there we go. All right, Tayers, nice to see you, buddy. Um, did you get sent one of the box mods DNA uh, with dual 2700? No, I didn't. Lost 20. Um, I, I've never, never reviewed a boxer mod, so no, they've, no, they've never sent me anything. Um have you got the TM24 Pro? Uh, yes, and I talked about that earlier on, Dustin. But yes, I have. I've got uh, I've got all four colours of that, um, which is rather splendid. Um, and I'm using I'm using the Blick one on the uh, on the on the double barrel, and I'm using the 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 stainless one, the polished stainless one on the reference mod. So boom, there we go. Uh, I'm scared to remap my batteries with a hairdryer because I know it'll heat them up significantly. Am I just paranoid? Is it okay to do? Just you know, do it sensibly. Do it. So I use a heat gun, which is uh, which is you know you do have to. You, you, if that's your if that's your your uh, your battery you'd hold it and then you'd kind of you'd, you'd wave rather than go you'd wave your heat gun past it a couple of times to to do that you know um and you know you should be fine just take it carefully if you're holding on to one end of the battery you can get a good feel for uh for, for how warm it's getting and just make sure it doesn't get hot that's you'll be fine you'll be fine uh, but do make sure that you do put the insulator on the top and when you do uh, throw your hair dryer or whatever over the top of it that it doesn't come flinging out because you need that um when you're going to get around to your dna f flip i still haven't done that have i really <laughs> <laughs> well, now we've got this new, this new, um, how's your father? I think that'll, that'll be, uh, the, the, with the replay and stuff, I think this is going to be an interesting way to, for me to update my, my, uh, DNA 75C, um, uh, theme and, uh, and to include this. And once I include that, then I'll, uh, then I'll get it sorted out. Um, I am a high work Corgith. Uh, that's what I need to know. I'm a high wattage vapor. Uh, what? Uh, I, I am a high wattage I a high wattage and when vaping my vape uh, keeps getting hotter till I let the button off and that's the way I like it replay doesn't sound like it for me it well it kind of does it, it's really really hard to explain call with but um, I am going to do way more testing on it I am going to do way more testing on it but obviously when the juice isn't in the in the wick then it'll throttle back a little bit and you go all right okay well I've got to reduce so you know boom but otherwise when it's juiced it'll give you exactly the same the same uh, as your father i have the pulse bf using a 2700 with the bonza can't find a 316 dual coil setup that suits can you suggest anything for me um 
Yeah, I mean, a parallel, parallel 26 um, gauge stainless steel. There we go. So parallel on both sides. Try that. Um, seven wraps, maybe, will get us to around about 0.15, I think. Give it a go, Rob. Um, right, anything else? Um, he thinks you're going to enjoy a replay, Dean. I'm definitely enjoying it so far. Um, Kid Bass, absolutely. Dean, quick question. Can I take my Squonk mod on a plane? Will it leak with pressure? No. Um, the reason that tanks leak with pressure generally is that when the pressure kind of gets in there, it kind of forces juice through and up into the deck and up through the air holes and then out through the air holes. Um, and so with a Squonk mod, you've got an RDA on the top. It's not holding anything in the top there. So no, it shouldn't do. At least I've never tried it, but logic tells me it shouldn't do. It's not going to squeeze the bottle. So as far as I, I can imagine, I wouldn't have thought. Um, so uh, no, I would have thought it would uh, it would be fine and dandy. Uh, Luca Barocco, sorry if I bother you, but I always follow your veg. You don't bother me, Luca. Um, do you have in UK any organic tobacco flavor juice? I have no idea. No, I'm sure we probably do, but uh, I have no idea. That's not my uh, that's not my wheelhouse at all. I'm afraid. Um, uh, what a uh, uh, when uh, uh, Corguth. Okay, maybe I'll try when they release a Lost Vape one. Yeah, and Lost Vape have got a. Uh, I think it's going to be a dual battery one. They'll be coming out with that pretty soon, I imagine. Uh, what else? Anything else? <laughs> Kathleen, I think Battery Moose's channel should be a must see for all vapors. I completely agree. I do think that that I can't believe I think he's at 14,000 subscribers, which saddens me greatly because whilst it's not numbers orientated, every vapor should be subscribed to his channel to learn more and know what's coming out there. Um, can't wait to see what Las Vegas does there. Do. Yep, absolutely. Socrates cab drive van by here. Get 10 mil Soho FA ready made um, and get just one drop of inner wear raspberry in it. You'll remember that one. <laughs> You see, you give me too much credit with my memory. <laughs> I've already forgotten the numbers. <laughs> um, right, I think, I think we are good to go. I'm just going to chill out now. Um, I'm go I've, I've got many mods here that I'm enjoying vaping. I've got to polish up my clay more so I can get my gold TM24 sticking on the top of that. But uh, no, I think we're good. So when is biker juice going to be a thing? I don't know. I was I was really thinking about doing a thing with it at one point in time, but uh, I've kind of gone off the boil on that one now. So I don't know. Don't know. Maybe if I get kind of a good solid four flavors that are that are different to everything else that that I vape, maybe who knows? Never say never. Never say never. But uh, there we go. Vapey, vapey, McVaperson, vapiness. I think we're good. I think we're good to go in on that one. Ladies and gentlemen, we've been going for an hour and a half, so it's already about half an hour longer than I thought. Uh, what's the flavour like off the Mess 24? Good. Hello from Greece. Hello back. Yasu. Um, now then, that is, that is it. That's all I've got to show you. I can't wait to build a uh, DNA 250C mod. I did order a, um, a fascia for the DNA 250C from Stealth Vape earlier on today. Um, so I will be I will be getting a uh, um, a 3D rendering going on uh, on that mod ASAP once I figure out how I'm going to connect up the batteries. Um, but uh, yeah, I really want a mod that's, that uses 2650 cells. So I'm very excited about doing that. Um, so thanks for your time, Dean. Really appreciate it. Thank you very much, Dustin. Vape, vape and bike excellent show mate uh but you are a mentalist i know I sh the reason i shouldn't after the weekend of doing this room i am pooped and i'm sore and and uh, i'm in a lot of pain like i said although my good lady did do most of the heavy grunting and i couldn't have done it without her um heavy grunting that sounded rude heavy grunt work and all the the kind of the, the heavy stuff it's annihilated me so um yes doctors and things tomorrow then a haircut then uh, some photography just to chill out for a day and be out of the house which i'm very much looking forward to so um, otherwise, uh, I think that's it. Right. Yes, I think we're done. So I am going to I'm going to do some of that. I'm going to make sure I'm clicked on the thing that I want to click on. Um, have I got juice going on in here? Fuck it. I don't care because I'm using replay mode. Right. <laughs> I'll see you very, very soon. I imagine I imagine it might be a couple of days before the next review goes out. So might not be a review out until Thursday, but then there'll be Thursday, Friday, Saturday, or there'll be three out before I do the next um the next thing. Um oh by the way, just 
just in case you are unaware. If you're an aspiring YouTuber, um, there's a guy that I've been following for a little while now who I think has done an amazing video about lighting and all of that sort of good stuff. So go and check it out. And hang on, hang on. Oh, here we go. Uh, Basic Filmmaker. Go and check out Basic Filmmaker. He's, uh, he's, a, he's a cool dude. <laughs> He makes me giggle. But uh, rock your videos. Simple DIY tips, tips and tricks for filming your YouTube videos, I think it is. Um, but uh, yeah, if you're an aspiring YouTuber, go and go and check that out. Basically, he's talking about doing a lot of stuff that I've been working on in my studio for a, for a while now with regards to kind of background stuff and lighting and things and shit and stuff. And uh, yeah, it's uh, it's quite cool. If I do that, look, oh, I look a little bit moodier. A little bit. A little bit. Or I do that one and I turn that one off. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> stop fucking around. Right, now I'm ready going. <laughs> <laughs> thank you very much for joining me it's been a pleasure it's always lovely to see you. thank you everybody that's contributed in chat thank you to all my patrons thank you to everybody that uses the paypal thing to help support the channel without your help i couldn't do half the things that i do so thank you so much but um those of you that just sit and watch and comment and and uh, and subscribe i appreciate it thank you so much please make sure that uh, you do sort of share the videos where you can and uh, i will see you very very soon Have it larger.